Hello and welcome to the Chow Bella Midnight Spell mini album tutorial series designed for Scrap and Create. All of the products that are available on the Scrap and Create website are linked in the description box below so you can click on those links, purchase those products to follow along. Let's get started. In today's tutorial we are going to begin decorating page three. So I have my page here. I'm going to start placing my ribbons first. So I have two pieces of ribbon cut to about eight inches. You want them to be longer bows or bigger bows. Make sure you cut yours about 10 inches. I've marked the center on the front of the flap and on the side of my page. So I'm just going to apply my adhesive here and here. And then I will take the end of my ribbon, place it right off the page, and I'll place the second one right off the end of the flap. Now from this eight by eight paper, I did first cut this piece to five and three quarters. Then I cut three quarters of an inch off the top. So this measures five and three quarters by seven and a quarter. Before you go on to the next step of placing this paper on your flap, I completely forgot whenever I designed the album that I had a photo mat for this that I was going to cut into this and make this a tuck spot so a photo mat would sit behind the image of her. So I want you to decide if you want to just leave this flat plain like I have it, just continue on the tutorial and ignore this next piece. But if you want this photo mat to slide under here, kind of like how we did with the clock on the previous page, you will want to cut around the edge of the clock tower around the edge of the fairy godmother. I would not cut this little tiny stick or, or wand that's in her hand. I would just cut around her hand and then I would cut down to the edge of her cloak. You can also cut into here. So again, not cutting the sticks. I would cut along the pumpkins and I would probably stop this right about here. That way then this will be able to tuck behind these things. So you need it to actually cut all the way into this edge of the clock tower and then into here for the pumpkins. So if you were to do that, you would not adhere this piece down. You would adhere all of this and then just the edge here and here, leaving this open so that photo mat will tuck behind it. So since I forgot to do that, I'm not going to use my spatula and pull that paper up or anything like that just to do it. So I'm going to leave this off and I will think about a different way to decorate this. So you can decide which of the two ways you want to make your album. Next, I have my little piece of my lace trim and I'm going to place it here on the edge of my flap just like I have on my previous flap, supplying my adhesive just down the edge of my paper. I'm going to be using this 12 by 12 that has the, the prints on the back of it. So I first cut this piece here to three and three quarters by seven and a quarter. And I'm going to be placing this here on this flap. Then I've cut this piece from the bottom and it measures four and a quarter by six and a quarter, and I'm going to be placing it here on the front of this flap. Then from my cut apart card from the 12 by 12 paper, it came from this one here, it was this center card. I fussy cut around the frame. I wish I wouldn't have cut the little flowers out here. They were really small flowers, but I don't really like the look of this. So I'm probably going to fussy cut another flower from one of the fussy cutting sheets later and I will fix this. But I'm going to be adhering this right here in the center of this paper for a decoration. I'm using the front cover of the fussy cut papers and I've just cut this little tiny rose. I've turned it upside down. I placed it here over top of the piece that I didn't like. And I'm going to add a little bit of embellishment here. So this was just a scrap piece that I had on my desk. It is six and a half inches long and I'm just going to place it here and then I have my little cut apart card from the 8x8 paper and I'm just going to place it 
down here towards the bottom just for some decoration. Now I'm not going to add in the center because I don't want this to be visible when the page is closed. I want it to be hidden from that flap. So I'm going to adhere this down and then we'll come on the inside. Next, I'm going to come up here and work first on this smaller flap. From my fuzzy cutting sheet, I've cut one piece to four and a quarter by six inches. I'm going to place this down here at the bottom of this flap. Then I had this little tiny scrap piece. It was left over from the 12 by 12 paper that has the blue stripes on it. And I cut it because it has some floral pieces on it and it measures three quarters of an inch. I cut it to four and a quarter inches. I'm going to place this here at the top of this to give it a little bit of color and to extend that paper since those fussy cut sheets are only six inches and I needed this to be six and a quarter. Then coming down here, From this 12 by 12 paper, I don't even remember where this was on the page, to be honest with you, but I cut this to five and three quarters by one and a half. I'm going to place one at the top and one at the bottom of the page. Then from my fussy cut sheets, I've picked this one and I've cut this to just slightly under four and a quarter inches, and it's six or it's five and three quarter inches wide. And I'm going to place it here in the center. I had it at four and a quarter, and I didn't have enough space between the photo mat and these strips, so I did cut it just slightly down. For the base of my page, I have two pieces here. They are six and three quarters by one and three quarters, and they are from this 12 by 12 paper. So I'm going to place one here at the top and one down here at the bottom. I had this leftover piece. I think this might have been from the eight by eight paper but it is six inches, so it could have been one of the fussy cut sheets. I'm not sure at this point. These are three eighths of an inch by just slightly smaller than four and a quarter inches. One's going to go here and one is going to go here. And then this is from the fussy cut sheet and I've cut this to, it's six inches by just slightly less than four and a quarter. And just like on this side, my four and a quarter inch made the gap between this piece and the two strips here and here, not quite the right size. So I did just trim this down slightly. So I'm going to adhere all of those down. And then from this paper, this is, I believe it's a 12 by 12 paper. I think it's this one here. Yep, it's this one. So this one is cut to two and five eighths by seven and a quarter. It's going to go here. Then I'm going to apply my adhesive across the top and bottom of the flap here and fold it shut to form my pocket. And I have this strip of paper left over. It is from the eight by eight papers and it's a leftover piece from one of the other page fronts that we had already decorated. I don't remember which one. I've cut this down to one and a quarter by seven and a quarter. And I'm going to place it here on the front of my pocket. I did place the photo mat back into the pocket then from my 12 by 12 paper, I cut the live like there's no midnight little piece and I've backed it onto a piece of cardstock. Now I'm going to place this down here. 
and I'm going to use the photo mat from the front cover that I forgot to cut the piece in. Now, if you've cut your piece in and put it on the page, then this photo mat will go in that front cover. But if you chose not to and you just put your paper down like I did on mine, I'm going to make this a tuck spot for this photo mat to actually sit here. So I'm going to apply adhesive only to this bottom edge of this piece. So just a thin line. Now, even if you did cut in your photo mat for your cover, you can still do this and then the photo will slide behind this. I'm just going to use the grid on my desk to place this, but if you wanna measure, you can. And I'm only putting about a quarter of an inch of that piece on top of the place for the photo mat. That way this, actually I'm gonna end up doing less than that, so that this will slide all the way down and fit on the page. So when I take this out, you can see that just the tip of this is over top of that blue paper. And then if you have a photo on there, it'll slide right behind that. Now I'm going to just place this here for now and we'll come back and decorate this later. If you did your photo mat on the front cover, you do not have to add another photo mat here unless you want another photo mat. So I'm going to close up that and tie my page closed and we will move on to the back side before we build up or decorate anything else on the front of this page. I have my little ribbon for my pull tab, so I'm going to place it first off the edge of the left-hand flap and then on the underside as well. I did mark the center already, folded this in half so I know where to place this. And I'm just going to place it here, right off the edge. From this eight by eight paper, I've cut from the bottom left corner. This, I first cut a piece six inches by six inches, and then I've cut this into two pieces that are three inches by six inches. I'm first going to apply this one down. I'm not going to put this one down yet because I do need to place my magnets. So I'm going to place this one, and then I'm going to add my strip of lace trim here on this front edge. Once I have my lace trim on, I'll go ahead and open up, then place my magnet just past the edge of that ribbon. It is going to be underneath the photo mat. I don't often do this, but because of this design, it's going to be. If you don't like your magnets under your photo mat, you could not put this pull tab on and you could put a ribbon closure here and it would be just fine. Once I have that first magnet on, I'll place my second magnet, close my flap, and now I can take this second piece and apply it here to cover that magnet. Next, I've taken this 12 by 12 paper here and I've cut this portion, two pieces that measure two and a half by seven and three quarters. I'm going to place one here on this side of the page tucking under the belly band and one on this side tucking under the belly band. Then I had a strip of this paper here. I believe it's from the Fussy Cut Sheets. I trimmed it down to three quarters of an inch and then I cut two inch pieces. One's going to go up here and one's going to go down here. For the inside, I'm going to start with this piece. I've cut a piece from the fussy cut sheets. These, this piece is four and a quarter by six. It'll go right here in the center. Then from this 12 by 12 paper, it's almost completely gone. This is what it looks like. I have two pieces that measure three inches by four inches that I'm going to place on each side, so these would be whole wallet size photos. And then from this leftover piece of the eight by eight paper, I've cut 
four pieces. They measure three inches by one inch, and I'm going to place one at the top and bottom on each side. Flap here like this. Now we're going to move on to decorating the little booklet that goes under the belly band. So I'm going to start here. I'm placing my smaller flap on the left hand side and I'm using this piece here. This was a leftover piece from the eight by eight paper. I've just trimmed this down to seven and a quarter by one and three quarters. And I'm going to place it here on the front of my smaller flap. From this 12 by 12 paper, I've cut the bottom left corner to four and a quarter by seven and a quarter, and I will be placing this piece here on the larger flap. Coming into the inside, I have this piece, and it was cut from this. It was the 12 by 12. It's a really small piece at this point. So I've cut this to one and three quarters by seven and a quarter, and I'm going to place it here on the inside of this flap. Then I've taken one of my fussy cutting sheets and I've cut this down to five and three quarters by four and a quarter. I'm going to be placing this here in the center. Then I have these two strips from this 12 by 12 paper. I can hardly see what's on it at this point. There's such a small piece. And these pieces measure five and three quarters by one and a half. I'll be placing one here at the top and one here at the bottom. Then from over here, I've taken the piece that I cut off of this and I've trimmed it down. So I have two pieces. They measure four and a quarter by five eighths of an inch. One's going to go at the top of this smaller flap and one's going to go at the bottom. And I've taken one of my fussy cutting sheets and I've cut this to four and a quarter by six inches. And I just realized these are actually, I think five and seven eighths of an inch. So I've been telling you six inches the whole time, but they're five and seven eighths. So I just didn't cut them down. I didn't even measure. I assumed that they were six inches. That's what it says on the actual paper itself, on the paper pad. So they're five and seven eighths. So don't worry if yours doesn't measure exactly six inches, neither do mine apparently. So I'm going to place all of these papers down, then we'll go ahead and decorate the backside. I'm going to flip over to the back side of my booklet. I've got one more of my fussy cutting sheets. I've cut down to five and three quarters by four and a quarter. This one's going to go here in the center. And then I've got two pieces of this blue paper. I don't even know, I can't even find the rest of it to show you what it even looked like. I've cut two pieces of this to five and three quarters by one and a half. I'll place one here at the top and one here at the bottom. So once those papers are on, my little booklet is done. I'll go ahead and fold it up and just place it right underneath my belly band here. And I'm going to push mine in just far enough so that that flap is underneath the belly band. Now everything is done on both sides of the page, so we're going to go ahead and add some additional embellishments. From the 8x8 sheet, I did cut this frame. I fussy cut it off of the card that it was on. Then below that, there was this piece, and I just cut this down until it would fit in that center section of that frame. So I'm going to adhere that into the center and use this as an embellishment for the front of my page. Now, if you did go ahead and cut in around your fairy godmother to put your photo mat on the front, you don't need to do this because it will be underneath your photo mat. But if you went ahead and built your page like I have mine without putting that photo mat on the front, then you will want to do this step. 
So I've got this and I'm going to be placing it here. Then I have one of my flowers. I pulled that center off. It was a big chunky center. Then I peeled the yellow center off and I placed a pearl on there. I'm going to be placing this right on the corner and then I want to use the flower position to know where I'm going to place my frame piece. So it's going to overlap with the moon somewhat. If you don't like it there, you can always bring it down here further. Once you have an idea about where you want to place it, you go ahead and add your adhesive on the back of here. And if you want this piece to stand out even more, you can back it on white cardstock and then fussy cut around that first. It will pop that frame piece out a little bit more. So I'm going to adhere this piece down and then take my adhesive onto the back of my flower and adhere that down to this top corner where I had it before. And then I'm going to take my little tiny blue pearls and I think I'm going to outline around this just to add a little bit more to the frame. So I did go ahead and add my pearls right around that frame there to complete the page. For the back side, I have one of my flowers that I've pulled the center out of and I placed a pearl on that center. And I think I'm going to place this flower here. And I have two of my flourish pieces that I'm going to do the same thing that I did on one of the other pages. I've colored them gold and I'm going to place these right around my flower like this. Then I'm going to come back and add some of my little blue pearls. For this one, I did decide to go ahead and add my pearls into my lace like I did on a previous page. I didn't add that third row here on the paper because I didn't want to go over top of the image of her. So I just have my two rows here in my lace. And this is it for page three. We are completely done. I'm going to let this side finish drying. This tutorial is also finished, and if you are just joining the tutorial series, check out the links in the description box below where you can click on those links to purchase the Chow Bella Magic Spell products and everything else that's available for you to make the album and follow along. I'll see you in the next tutorial.